All right, everyone. Hey, this is We Win again. I'm with uh, Olivia Bell of Foco Fantastico from Austin, Texas. And Olivia is here to tell us all about Photo Fantastico. Thanks, We. And I also want to point out that uh, this amazing gentleman on the other side of the screen is um, one of the judges in Photo Fantastico this year. And we're super excited to have him involved in Photo Fantastico as well. Um, Photo Fantastico basically, in a nutshell, is a team photo scavenger hunt event for photographers. Let me show you the website. Um, it's it's designed from the ground up basically to be the most fun you can have with a camera. It's all about getting get together with your friends, running around the city of Austin, Texas, where it takes place, creating amazing photos from prompts that we give you. This year we're having eight prompts that will give all of the teams at a fun clue reveal party. And then the next day we will let you guys run around Austin, take the eight, eight prompt photos, um, and then the most exciting part about Photo Fantastico is that we partner with a cinema right here in Austin. So we actually see everyone's images they made from the day before on a big screen, which is super exciting because not only do you get to see your own work, but you get to see what your fellow photographers and creatives have made from the exact same prompts. Um, so it's really fun. We had our first one in April. Um, we had people come from all over North America, which was great. The winning team, there was a Canadian on the team. Um, so that was really fun. Uh, it was neat talking to people after because people felt really reinvigorated and kind of, uh, you know, felt like they got some of their creative mojo back after doing Photo Fantastico because it's all creative play. There, there's nothing else. There's no, uh, nothing sit down. Um, it's sort of only learning by absorbing what you see your friends and associates and Okay. Studio mates, whoever you do put a fantastical with. Yep. I got a question. So, okay, yeah. so I just to make it clear that it's a scavenger hunt, but it's a photo scavenger hunt. So all we do, all the photographers do is we'll be taking pictures, right? Exactly. There's nothing yes. physical, no, no shenanigans, no... No shenanigans, no... Uh, so it's, it's like, I was describing it as kind of an amazing race of photography but there's it that's that's really not appropriate because there's nothing physical we're not going to make you go to any weird places we're not going to make you scale buildings or i mean we did have some teams on their own volition do crazy things like paint themselves green and you know find mm -hmm. find scrap objects to incorporate in their photos we've had some very creative photo making endeavors um okay. from the teams but yeah no shenanigans necessary of course and this involves basically driving or walking or biking around Austin, right? Just do things in the community, just being out there, shooting pictures exactly. to... Yes. Yeah. And then yeah. Um, maybe you explain what happens in the two days exactly? Like, yeah, for sure. Um, well, first of all, the, the prompts that we give you, I'll give you guys a few examples of what the prompts are, just okay. so you have an idea. Like, uh, I've pulled up, can you see this? Um, some of the photos from the winning team last year. Yeah, the vertical winks. Yeah. Wink okay. <laughs> yes, teams, teams can be creative with their own names. Um, so oh. it's, uh, see, it's taking a bit to load. Anyway, I'll just show you on here. Um, but some of the clues like, uh, I don't know if you can see this one. Nope, it's not wanting see to come up. A anyway. little house with someone in it, yeah. Yeah, so, so the clue for that one was bird's eye view. And right away, I, you, you don't really understand, but if you see the picture full frame, you'll see that there's a bird beak in the middle of the house and the, the windows look like eyes. Um, so they interpreted bird's eye view, which you know a lot of teams took pictures from a different vantage point, like from a bridge and uh, took it literally. This team made a fun kind of figurative image out of it. Um, one of the fun things about Photo Fantastico is you can Photoshop your heart out. So you'll see in this one, if you can see my arrow, um, it was Cindy Sherman 2.0 was the clue. And they, they kind of went all out with Photoshopping on that photo. Um, so yeah, so, so yeah, exactly. So the schedule, you get the eight prompts. Last year it was 10, this year we're doing eight because 10 was a little too much. You have uh, a full day to go out with your team around Austin 
shoot those images, and then submit them by email at night. At night, as soon as we get them, the judges will put on their thinking caps and confer for an hour hour or two and choose the the winning team we have a best overall and then we have some other prizes as well and then the very next day it's going to be 2 p.m to 4 p.m we sit down in a cinema and watch everybody's images online so you can see the schedule on our website here i'm just going to pull it up for you guys um, here we go so mm -hmm. yeah so you'll see we have the clue reveal party which is going to be at a bar uh, Thursday, we have a little coffee kickoff in the morning just to make sure everyone gets up and out of bed and, you know, kind of takes full advantage of the day. Then teams have that entire day free to take their photos. And then the very next day is the screening. And then we're also doing a three hour boat cruise with a DJ and kind of dance party to wrap it all up at the very end. So that's, that's what we've got planned. Okay. And the, okay. So the, for each category, the teams have to agree on sending in how many photos per category? I'm just curious. Oh, no, they can only send in one per prompt. So we have, we have eight photo challenges the and they collaboratively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every team makes the same eight images. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll show you guys, you can kind of see, uh, we also have an audience favorite award for a team. Um, we had a local Austin team win the audience favorite. Uh, you can see this set of images right here. It, mm -hmm. They're made from the same clues as this set of images above them. They're just radically different interpretations. Like, like one of our clues that honestly wasn't a great clue. I don't think we're going to have anything like that again, but it was 70% cacti. Um, I don't know if you can see my mouse is pointing. You can see this team's okay. interpretation of 70% cacti and then this team's interpretation of 70% cacti. So it is cool to get to see what everyone makes from the same prompts. Great. And they get judged in... They like, get judged... public or in private? They get judged... How is the judging done? Uh, the judging is done... We were going to have public judging, but but because every because we screen everything right then and there at the theater, um, we thought it would be too too hard for the judges. Maybe not. I mean, maybe we'll change it this year um, if the judges want. But uh, we have the judges deliberate that night as soon as the images images come in, and that also allows us to make a really cool slideshow presentation where we already know who's won, but the photographers don't know who's won yet. So we kind of go through and show the images. And then at the end, we show the winning collections again. Um, and it's just a nice way to have it run seamlessly in the actual event, rather than have it kind of choppy while we're waiting for the, the judges to deliberate it. It seemed to work well that way. Um, I don't know if you can see, here's some photos from the actual viewing party. It's in uh, the most beautiful cinema space in Austin. They have this gorgeous lobby and velvet curtains everywhere. Um, we make popcorn for everyone and then, and then have a big screen where we see all of the images. So yeah, it's a super fun event. So that's gonna happen again. The viewing party is gonna happen again. And then there's another boat party after that. Yes, exactly. Okay. So uh, some of the feedback that we got from last time was that it was really nice to get to spend more time with the photographers who aren't on your team. Um, because we generally attract a lot of like super extroverted, fun-loving photographers who are competitive, who are super creative. They don't really get to spend a lot of time with each other just at the kickoff party. And they wanted a chance to spend more time together after the festival is over, like after the judging has been done and the pressure's off. So we booked a three hour boat cruise. Um, okay. We're gonna shake our booties and have a good time and get to know each other. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, so what, does Austin have a beach? Yeah. They do. It's, well, they have secret beach. There's also a topless beach. Okay. There is a, okay, but this isn't going to be on the beach. It's actually going to be right downtown. So um, oh, yeah. people don't really have to go that far. And it's right on the lake. There's a lake right downtown Austin. Oh, called awesome. Lake. Yeah. 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 I that lake. Cool. So cool. the boat cruise will leave from downtown. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
Um, and then here's something more like I'll just pull up the FAQ question in case anyone is uh, super wanting to kind of read some of these things. You, you can visit the website and scroll through. There's a bunch of FAQs, but the website is pretty thorough and and explains it all all really well. Um, Do you recommend? Is there a place that you have that the out of town teams are staying in, or they can stay anywhere? They can stay anywhere. Yeah, we we found that teams preferred getting Airbnbs last time, so they could literally live together and work together. Um, that just that was the most convenient for teams. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe maybe next year we'll partner with a hotel. I know that uh, the Friends of Fearless conference, which um, everyone should also go to, and I bet a lot of people watching are going already, has booked the Austin Motel on South Congress. And that's a great option also to be right downtown. And that's, it's just a super fun hotel. Um, yeah, and uh, I think that we both, you and I, will also be at that conference too, so. Yes, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be a, a great a great week for photographers in Austin in January and for people coming from out of town as well. Right, right. Um, so being Texas, do you recommend that people have a car to get around? I would say yes. You can you can definitely do it without a car. I think um, because Austin is so absolutely beautiful, um, there literally are beaches, um, semi-mountains, there's gorgeous hill country there. I mean, if, if you're looking for like beautiful landscape scenes and stuff like that, uh, it really depends on your style of photography. A car is super, super helpful, um, but you don't need one. If you're staying downtown, you can walk places. I think it would give people more flexibility to have a car. Right, I'm talking about for the, for the competition to, to find what they need or whatever. To have yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it it is kind of a spread out yeah. city with a lot of different neighborhoods that are cool scattered around. So having a car um, is going to be definitely really nice for people if they can afford it. If not, then you know um, we do have buses and those little one person scooters that they can ride around on. Um, yeah, at least so downtown. So. What's your What's your ideal number of teams that, that you're envisioning if you can if you can have a goal or whatever? How many how many yeah. you, you wanted to have? I mean, ideally I think uh fifteen to twenty would be would be a really great number. Um and we're we're definitely like on track to to be very close to that. So so that's great. I'm just showing you guys on the screen. Um another image of uh, our collection of images from a mini photo fantastica we did in denver just so you can see a bigger bigger picture on screen of how the images in photo fantastica can work together as a collection um so uh if you want to talk about the prompts here mm -hmm. um this one here if you can see the pointer around around the face that image prompt was make a monochrome picture without using a filter. So everything in this photo um, is true life, true to color. So uh, this is actually Kirsten Bethman Lewis, if you guys know her. She's a, a good pal and obviously a great sport because she was painted green head to toe. Um, and this is a dead bird that she's holding also painted green. So they had some moxie to do that. Um, and then this picture was, uh, I think the prompt was flirting with shadow for this one and then the prompt for this one was two sides so um they made a whole conceptual piece about i don't know it's very spiritual kind of life and death and all that like mystical stuff but they made some very interesting images mm -hmm. um let me show you another one that's one of the cool things about photo fantastico is it lets you kind of create um in a pl super playful mode unlike you get to do for clients you know i think as photographers we all get way down and you know like we can all shoot a wedding if we're tired if we're sick we know we know exactly what to do and we know that our clients will be happy if you've been doing it for a while um photo fantastico breaks you out of that mold of what your mind has on rotation to shoot and really pushes you to shoot creative images where you have to use all of those faculties that excited you when you first started 
to become a photographer, basically. The, the joy of shooting for, for creating art in itself. Um, so the, these are the same clues. So this one up here was uh, a monochrome image. So you can see they didn't quite make it all monochrome, but it's mostly yellow. Um, this one down here was two sides, uh, two different locations showing two sides. And then this one was flirting with shadow over here. So that's another from that same uh, event when we did a mini photo fantastico. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah, yeah. So you've um, you've had this idea for a while. Let's talk about how it came together. Uh, oh, yeah. So it the origin story begins a decade ago in Las Vegas, where Kirsten Bethman Lewis, Catherine Kruger, Elizabeth Lloyd, and I did something very similar in Vegas. We did a team photo scavenger hunt. Um, we ended up winning the whole shebang, but well beyond the fun of that, we just had the most ridiculously amazing time actually creating images with our peers in a brand new city. Mm -hmm. um, and, then, and then I was FOMOing so hard, like I wanted someone else to put this event on again and I waited for something similar to pop up, but it never did. So. About four years ago, um, I bought the Photo Fantastico domain name and thought like, wouldn't it be great if I can actually put this event on one day? And then I was talking to my friend who's an event producer. She said, hey, this is a great idea. You should just go for it. Um, it's my friend Ivana Coleman who has produced events for South by Southwest and has produced a VR event for Museum of Human Achievement. And she's been, um, an amazing help in advising on on event production because I don't have any experience in event producing. I'm I've only ever been a photographer, so uh, so that's been that's been really nice. So that's how it came about, basically because of FOMO. Like I'm putting it on because I want to do it, and we also have an amazing team of um, people who kind of intern and and help help with with what we do as well. It's definitely a team effort from our side as well okay great and from a business point of view so is this considered a business uh trip a business event where the it's you know it's a tax write-off oh yeah i mean definitely i it's I, sorry, my cat is uh, <laughs> this mushy. If anyone wants a little cat break, she's very cute, which is why I can't work from home because she's super distractingly cute. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, it's a write-off in the same way a, a conference would be, you know, I would, I would say. Um, because it, you know, like, like, yes, it's in the guise of a contest, but you also do kind of innately learn things. You, yeah. you know, it, it'll refresh your whole approach to your business when you come home and and sit down and have to deal with client images again yeah. i don't know if that answers your question i guess i should okay, say so. i don't really know mm -hmm. financially how it's a business write-off just that i would write it off yeah just because it's fun it's a it's a photo yeah. educational event also or right. or a retreat or a learning thing yeah so, yes. yeah definitely if a photo retreat a is a exactly what it is it's it's like a creative vacation although yeah. maybe if you're writing it off you don't want to use the word vacation it's right, a it's right. a creative retreat yeah. um that also includes parties and prizes and fun right yeah so i can see that it's uh it's definitely will benefit the business on the creative side um yeah, yeah. what else uh what else do we need to know anything else um oh maybe i'll talk about uh we have some some great sponsors that okay. donate prizes to the the contest too so um you know there's judging there's a thousand dollar grand prize to the winning team there's also smaller prizes like uh bay photo gives some gift cards we have magmod who's sponsoring a prize um who else uh lens flipper which is a really neat product that lets you change lenses without using your hands it's okay. really cool uh, they're donating some some products uh acrylic press sponsored our awards um that we actually give out to people who win so yeah so it's a great you know as well as the the fun part of it um we we do get to give out a lot of fun stuff as well 
Okay, great. Yeah, I, I, I think that's all the questions I have. So, um, yeah, so the site is photofantastico.com. Yes, it is. Let me show it again. It's photofantastico.com. We also have a Facebook page, um, which is Photo Fantastico Fest for the Facebook. Um, so, yeah, when you go to our homepage, this is what you see. And then there's actually a video of last year's event at the bottom of the page. It's not mm -hmm. loading right now, but for you, it will. Um, yeah, so uh, this check early, it out. Early bird deadline is Wednesday. That's, that's really tomorrow, right? November 20th? Yes, November 20th. So by the time you're watching this video, uh, there will probably be no longer a early bird ticket available. But the tickets are extremely affordable. We're a nonprofit endeavor. We don't make a cent from this. So the tickets are, they're 250 per team, um, which divided by four people on a team is a really great deal. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. So you're a nonprofit? I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, uh, we're not legally a nonprofit, but I mean, we're, we don't make any money quite the opposite. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, one day, one yeah. day we hope to. Even yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, as not you know, yet, putting <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, but but we are hoping to make we are hoping that in future years we'll be able to donate proceeds to or not proceeds but profits to Creative Action in Austin, which is an organization that I personally volunteer for that helps mm -hmm. at-risk youth with creative endeavors and creative education. So um, that's okay. the goal of it. It's a passion project, but we also want to be able to give back um, to mm -hmm. the arts community in, in Austin. Okay, so in addition to this Austin event, it, do you have anything else planned for sure? Um, we are, uh, okay, so we are doing a secret little Photo Fantastico activity at a conference coming up. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so next year we'll probably have it in Austin again, but also we're going to start making satellite photo fantasticos. So uh, New York, we've had interest, Denver, Seattle, San Diego, we've had a lot of people interested in um, bringing a photo fantastico there. So the goal is to have satellite photo fantasticos where we can have the festival going on at the same time with the same clues. And then if you can imagine, there'd be a runoff competition like a week later. So mm -hmm. you'd be competing against regions as well. So that's the end goal yeah. um, is to, to kind of branch out and, and make it something where people can participate all over the country. So when you have the off the, the events not in Austin, do you go to them yourself? Uh, no, I wouldn't because someone in those other cities would be running them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I would run the Austin one. I mean, I would, I would be heavily involved in the setup of the other events, but uh, we would find people to run the events in different cities. You sure. don't want to go to Greece? Yes, I'd love to go to Greece. <laughs> yeah, that would be super fun. <laughs> yeah, we can bring it to Greece. Uh, it's fun. Let's do it. <laughs> I thought you might. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, it depends. I mean, um, I, there's also, uh, I mean, it depends on the dates. I have to look up. I, I remember seeing about Greece and how amazing yeah. it would be. And, um, but yeah, let's, let's talk about that. Anyway, All right, but, uh, in January. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess that's, that's it, right? That's all. And cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're so welcome. And uh, yeah, I, I hope that people check it out and also check out the Friends of Fearless conference happening in Austin just a couple days before Florida Fantastico. Yeah, do you have that? Uh, you want to pull that up handy? Like, yes, um, I do because we have a link to it right on our homepage. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yep, so here it's ffconference.com. And uh, it's going to be January 13th to the 15th. So we is speaking, um, Sitlali, uh, Ryan Jones is speaking there, who was a judge of Photo Fantastico last year. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, the screen is uh, taking, a, taking its own sweet time. All right, well, we can Google it. And, well, it's the ffconference.com. Yeah, yeah, it's the FF. And I think they have quite a few non-wedding photography speakers, too. It looks like a really cool lineup. 
and they do yeah yeah and some uh there's a woman um from canada who's also a spoken word artist and poet mm -hmm. and you know they've got some very very interesting speakers who will be super inspiring um so i mean i'm excited to go and then you know people who get to do both will have a week of absorbing all this incredible information and hearing from these you know like very creative uh people in the industry and then and then they can do the the fun part of photo fantastico which which will stretch their own creativity so. and austin is a is a great place to spend a weekend yeah. it is <laughs> it yes is. and the weather in january it it's normally around it's in the 60s usually so it's it's, it's very manageable especially if people are coming from the frozen north it'll it'll feel feel nice and balmy for y'all it's in the south <laughs> yeah it's in the south deep south well not so deep it's not really the south actually it's 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 its own thing it's yeah it's pretty it's in the south it's not really the south. But, okay. exactly <laughs> oh here look wait if people want to see the ff conference homepage, let's just share it one sec because sure. it finally came up um sorry uh, share mm -hmm. okay here we go so this is what it looks like and we can have a look at the speakers There's Lolly Rico. Yeah. Awesome. Brian Christopher Jones, amazing photojournalist. Gulnara, just an icon of uh, women street photographers. Tennille Campbell, the spoken word artist. There's all of these amazing people. Recognize that guy. <laughs> and yeah, here's some of the great people who put it on. So. And Kirsten's the host. <laughs> she is so host. I know she's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you're looking for an MC or or <laughs> you know a host for anything, she's she's just so entertaining and yeah. ridiculous and we love her. All right. Cool. Thanks, Olivia. Yeah, you're so welcome. Bye. See you, see you in a few months. Yep, see you in January. Yeah. A couple months. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Bye.